guys, Chantel's homeschool here. Um, I am a homeschooling mom of seven kids, five bio, two foster children, and today I'm going to share with you uh, my picks that we used for my fourth grader this year and how we liked it and things like that. So for my fourth grader, uh, his year was actually a little different. Um, at the, at the mid-year, around October, I found a dyslexia tutoring through our local Masonic Lodge here. And so I enrolled him in that. And so four times a week, he did some reading therapy through our lo local Mason Lodge. Um, if you're looking for reading therapy for dyslexia or just a struggling reader, I highly recommend looking into your local Masonic Lodge. Um, many of them have this program, and from my understanding, a lot of the time it's free. I know mine was. So that is one thing I did with him. I don't have any pictures to show you. Um, along with that, we did the Good and the Beautiful Level 3 Language Arts. Uh, for him, um, we had to do, we had to back up a bit because he was a struggling reader. And so while he technically should be in the fourth grade, Level 3 was a perfect fit for him for this year. So he actually really enjoyed level three. There was some very gentle writing practice. It was colorful. I loved the reading comprehension in here. I think out of all the levels we've done, this current level three is one of our favorites. We loved that there was videos to teach. Through most of the lessons, there was a video to teach the language arts concept. And that was extremely helpful just as a busy mom with multiple children. It can be hard to juggle teaching all the lessons. So that is something I wish that they and hope that they will continue with in the upper levels. Um, as you know, the good and the beautiful has beautiful art. Uh, I will, I feel like um, in lower levels, the writing teaching has been a little, a little more gentle than some other programs. For us, it has been a good fit because we were really working on focusing for the reading, not as much the writing this year. We did not use the spelling book. I did have it, but we, since he got into the dyslexia therapy, we ended up not using it because he didn't need it because he was already doing that four days a week in his other program. So we skipped, we skipped the spelling and we just did the language arts. Along with the language arts comes with four books. Uh, we He has loved all of the books. I think the one that we maybe didn't love quite as much was this one. Um, while he did like it, the story was a little harder to follow for us than the others, but still we really enjoyed it and he was anxious to finish it. I just noticed it took us a little longer because there wasn't quite as much interest. So we really enjoyed all of the books and the language arts. Definitely those were hits. Uh, moving on to math, we did the Good and the Beautiful Math 4. He does really well at math and his thinking skills because of it are just wonderful. Um, we loved the beautiful color. I think what I love even more than the color and the games and the good and the beautiful, because you'll hear that mentioned a lot. The thing that I particularly like about the good and the beautiful is the real life consumer math that they kind of intertwine into their math. Um, he is just able, he has just been able to really practice his mathematics that he's learning into his everyday life. And that to me is the sign of a successful math curriculum. So we have really enjoyed it. I will say the lessons have been long for him. They were not for my seventh grader because she works quickly and she works very fast. But for him, he is a little bit slower um, and meticulous in his work. And so it took him probably a good hour, hour and a half, sometimes up to two hours to do a lesson. And so we sometimes had to split lessons into two or three days. So this was definitely a harder course time-wise. I am not sure if we're going to move on with it or not next year. Math 5 um, might be a little harder for him to do just because of the length. So we're going to play that by ear and see. 
but we really enjoyed this one. I highly recommend it. It's definitely not something I regret doing for him. And the other thing that we did is he had some individual readers that he was doing with sunlight. He had many, many different books that he read with them and we followed the reader's guide. I loved the instruction manual that came with it. It had discussion questions. It had what chapter to read on what day. It really made managing the many books it came with um, to, to just make it more manageable. And that is basically all that he did for his individual works. He did the language arts, the good and the beautiful, and the math, the good and the beautiful. We, I loved both, recommend both. Will we go on with the next levels for him? To be perfectly honest, I'm not sure that we're gonna move on to the level four language arts for him. Um, moving from the good and the beautiful level three to level four is quite the jump. Um, if you want a more detailed look about it, I would definitely go check out Gina B. Homeschool, Life with Gina B. She has an amazing flip through and comparison from where level three leaves off to where level four goes that I thoroughly enjoyed. In fact, it has helped me to realize that I don't think that he's quite ready for the good and the beautiful level four. So I'm not sure if we're going to move on with it or not. I'm going to kind of look over it this summer a little more and really ponder on if it's something I think he can do. So we will see. And for the good and the beautiful math four, I think what we're going to do is we're going to start with math five. And if it is taking any longer than math four did, I think that we are probably going to switch programs uh, just due to having older children. I have an older son who also takes a long time at math. It's not that he doesn't understand it. It's that they're so careful and meticulous in the way that they do it. It takes more time. So if this child is going to be like my older son, I know that if I continue with the good and the beautiful, it taking a long time, he's going to hate math. And then he's going to hate school and education in general. So I don't know, I don't know if we'll stick with it. I think we're gonna try a few lessons and just see how long it takes. If it ends up taking more time, then we'll find something different. Hope you enjoyed this update. Uh, please like and subscribe. I'm gonna be sharing my first grader and my 11th graders here pretty soon. So keep an eye out for that. We'll see you later. Bye.